Hi, uh, this is a progress update on the GPS part of our project. Uh, basically, it will take on the GPS of a Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is currently connected to a GPS module uh, on the breadboard. Nothing else connected, just a Wi Fi and serial cable. Uh, I'm currently SSHing with Rover IDE. Well, if, first of all, thinking about the output from Wolfram, uh, which will run this code. But unfortunately, it outputs the GPS coordinates incorrectly because it's in degrees, minutes, and seconds. Uh, so it can be processed. Uh, so I find a better option using Adafruit's guide, uh, which uses session equal GPS dot it inputs GPS and it figures it out that way. So if we run it, first of all, it outputs no signal because. Uh, the first three items don't report a, a TPV. Uh, you'll find no signal after a certain interval because it outputs the sky, not the TPV, which shows all the coordinates of the satellites above. So it's outputting all this. Uh, now, what we can do with this data is we want to map it. So, the easiest way to map it is put it through Google Maps. So if you run this code, which logs into Google, then uh, puts it onto a spreadsheet, one by one, into a spreadsheet, and then from the spreadsheet we can use Google Fusion uh, to map it. So let's run this code. As you can see, it is writing the. Um, there we go. So it's like writing it live. There is a pause of five seconds, so I'll get rid of that. So it is instantaneously getting it. Now writing a new line, which is pretty impressive. So let's get some data on this. You can see there's a range of data uh, from the GPS. It's stationary currently, but you do get a range. And I've seen ranges up to 50 meters from just it being stationary. From that, we can let's get a bit more. All right. And that counts the code. From this, we can map it. Uh, let's upload it to Google Fusion. There we go. Uh, this is all the data from Google Fusion. Also, uh, there's a point, there's a thing for graph. Later on, there'll be a graph from Cosm. So there'll be a link here. Now if you go to map of locations, right now this is my location, and this is the GPS output, which shows a range of data from around here to here to here. And when you click on one of the options, it shows the, the location and the graph. Once the sample data is somewhere in the part the world, there we go. So let's say bbc.com where we can have the graph here written here. Now we have the GPS output in the same data over and over again and this is quite pointless and it's using a lot of power from the GPS, not much power but it's still using the CPU quite a lot. So what we can do is eliminate this and measure the distance if the distance between between the data output from the GPS and compares it with all the data in here. If the distance between calculates the distances between all these, if the distance is less than 50 meters or 60 meters, I can't remember, it um, it carries on and it, uses, it looks for the next. It carries on the iteration. It sleeps and carries on, it sleeps and carries on until it can find a GPS that's different from these. So if we get rid of this data, and we run 
on this one program. Right now I've removed all the sleeps for this testing. Uh, in real life I'll probably have a 5 minute sleep, so every 5 minutes I'll test on the GPS or every minute or every hour to conserve power and there's no need to port the same location over and over again. So if you run it, okay there we go, we got that. A row to row, let's cut this, let's explain what the code is doing. Uh, the coordinates are this, a row to row to the spreadsheet, which is what I'm going to be doing for. There we go. Now, the coordinates are, the coordinates already exist. So it checks whether the coordinates already exist. But I use, uh, it checks the distance, and uh, it's less than 60. So if we change the, the distance here, let's make it 5 to and actually I'll put distance greater than 60 there we go, rotary spreadsheet because it, uh, it's greater than 60 we can also make this, while the program is running we can change it and it will capture there we go. So even when the program is running, it's constantly checking, constantly checking. Uh, I will put a couple of sleeps in later on. This is just testing. And this is it. Thank you.